My name is Simon Schur, and welcome to my tutorial on developing a powerful sidekick. Now, we're not going to cover correct technique in this tutorial. I cover that in my Taekwondo sidekick tutorial and many other tutorials on developing aspects of your technique to help increase power. What I want to do today is talk about developing raw power, muscular power. So there's a few technical things that we're going to go over that are part of this, and then the rest are going to be strengthening drills to really help bring your sidekick up to where you want it to be. Let's start with the technical stuff. When you sidekick, you should pivot all the way. This will help you deal with rebound force. A powerful sidekick will have rebound force, and if you want to drive your foot through a resisting target, you're going to need to deal with rebound force or reactionary force from your kick. A full pivot will help you do that. The second thing is your standing leg should be all the way straight at the moment of impact. A straight leg will channel that rebound force directly into the floor, as well as straightening your standing leg at the moment of impact will push your body more powerfully into the sidekick. The third thing is you want to kick with your heel, not with the knife edge or the ball of the foot or the toes. If we're kicking as powerfully as possible with the sidekick, you want to hit it with a solid tool. The ball of the foot could bend the foot backwards and hurt your ankle, as could the knife edge. That's why we're striking with the center of the heel. A great drill to do to help condition the foot and strengthen the calves and the front of the shin, yes, there's a muscle there in the front of the shin, is to walk up and down the room with your toes off the floor. So that's the first strengthening drill you should do when developing a powerful sidekick. Walk up and down the room without your toes touching the floor, just your heel. All right, let's get to work on developing a powerful sidekick. Most of the drills that I'm gonna do today involve either a heavy bag, a heavy wave master bag, freestanding punching bag, a bar on the wall, and or a, uh, a theraband or a resistance band. I recommend several of increasing strength. I sell one on Amazon called the Psy Band. It's out of stock currently, but it should be good to go soon. The first drill we're going to do is you're going to put a theraband or a Psy Band or a resistance band around the bar. Pivot your foot towards the bar, chamber your sidekick, put the band over the heel, or as close to the heel as you can, extend the leg out and pull it back, making sure your body and the band are aligned. Do this 5, 10, 15 times. Repetition is good if you don't have more resistance. Now if you're not really feeling this, you can add a second, a third, a fourth, or a fifth band. The more you add, the clumsier you can get. Uh, having a bunch of bands in front of you, but kicking out and pulling back will give you some significant resistance. If you don't have a band or a bar, you can use a partner for the same thing. You pivot your foot towards the wall or bar, hold onto it with both hands, chamber your side, you can have a partner put your foot against their hip, and then you push them back, and they resist. And then they're going to pull on your foot as you pull it back to your chest. That helps you develop sidekick and retractionary power. Both of these are extremely useful, especially if an opponent catches your foot while you're kicking. But that's working all of the necessary muscles to really throw a powerful sidekick from a muscular point of view. Another great drill to help you develop power in your sidekick is to develop the ancillary muscles that work with the sidekick. So hold onto the bar, pivot your foot one way, and put your other leg on the bar. Now you're going to bend your knee into a small squat, then push up onto your tiptoes. We're strengthening the back of the standing leg, as well as the calf and the ball of the foot. Overlooked muscles that play a significant role in a powerful sidekick. Now pivot your foot away from the wall and sidekick the wall. Now what we're going to do is kind of like a crunch or a sit up, but from a sidekick position. You're going to bend over backwards and try to touch the pivoted foot on the floor. Then pick your body up and try to touch the extended leg. I got this kick uh, drill from Elastic Steel. They have a lot of great tutorials. I highly recommend you check it out. Shout out to Paul Zajcek. But again, you pivot your foot, extend your side kick to the wall, you reach down, touch the standing foot, pick your torso up and try to touch as far on the extended leg as possible. Do this 5, 10, 15 times and do several sets. I recommend three sets of 5, 10 or 15 depending on your strength level. Now we're going to do something similar. You're going to pivot your foot away from the bar and side kick the wall. You might want to have your leg a little bit lower for this one. 
then you're going to put a ferro band or a, a resistance band on the bar or attach it to the wall, and then you're going to squat and press your, your, your butt towards the wall as if you were doing a side kick, but your body is leaning in towards the wall. Then you push it away. If you hold on tight to the resistance band, you'll get even more resistance. If your body weight is enough, great. You won't have a huge range of motion here, but the, uh, the action is in a place where we very seldom get to isolate for strength conditioning. So I highly recommend doing this drill three reps, five, 10, or 15 times. When you're kicking, make sure your knee is higher than your foot. If your knee is lower than your foot, when you kick, your whole body's gonna twist down and all the power we're developing will twist down into the floor and push into the ground and put your body in an awkward position and probably hurt your knee. Keep the knee above the foot and kick at a downward angle into your target, kind of like Godzilla stomping on Tokyo. This is another technical aspect. You want your weight coming downward into the target as opposed to having to lift it against gravity into your target. Make sure your torso is erect and forward towards your target. If you throw your head backwards as you kick, half of your power, more than half of your mass, will be thrown away from the kick. So it's your body upwards and facing the direction you're kicking. If you can maintain a strong quality side kick position while maintaining this erect posture, your kick will have significantly more, val uh, more power. Try really hard not to throw yourself away from the kick. It's not worth it generally to get higher kicks at the sacrifice of having your body thrown backwards unless you're just trying to get points and you don't care about power. Now step to the center of the room and just try throwing your side kick into a pad as hard as you can, following all of the elements that we just did. Hitting a really heavy bag and dealing with that resistance is one of the best methods of developing a powerful sidekick. Actually doing it with a resisting target. A heavy hanging bag or a heavy freestanding bag, or if you only have a light uh, freestanding bag, put it against a wall or against some other pads. And just kick it as hard as you can, as fast as you can. For power, don't think about pushing on the pad. Think about striking it fast with that power. Believe me, there's a big difference. Power doesn't come from a push. It comes from a strike. Speed is a huge aspect of power that we're not going to go over today because this tutorial is about muscular strength and utilizing your body to develop power and strength as opposed to overall striking power. Another great drill is you stand in the center of the room and you take your resistance band and stand in the middle of it. Hold one end against your lower rib cage. The other one goes over the, uh, the opposite foot. So if my left rib cage, put on my right foot. Make sure I maintain resistance using my hands on the, uh, on the, the resistance band. Chamber my side kick and do five, 10, or 15 kicks. This is assuming you've developed the balance. If not, you should still be doing the drills on the bar. If you have the balance in the center of the room, do the same thing. This will strengthen your core muscles, which again, play a significant role in developing the sidekick. Thank you so much for watching my Developing a Powerful Sidekick tutorial. Please don't forget to share, comment, like, and subscribe. Check out the other videos on my YouTube channel. There's lots more coming, and I'm always open up, uh, to suggestions on what kind of stuff you guys might be interested in seeing. Thanks so much for watching, and have an awesome day.